Hey guys, today's video is going to be a part of another video actually. I'm right in the middle of rebuilding this 14 and a half, putting it back together. And I figured I'd show you how to install the uh, throttle bracket assembly, your governor spring, and your uh, governor arm. It goes on the governor shaft here. Now the only thing that's not going to be showed in this video is the linkage that runs from this arm to the carburetor. But uh, I'll go ahead and put in another video up here for adjusting the governor which will go into more detail of adjusting this one the shaft but if you're just replacing the spring you don't need that information so the first thing we're going to do is install this one the uh, governor shaft here which goes on just like this like i said for right now the position ain't going to matter because we're just dealing with the springs for right now okay so this is a throttle bracket assembly and there's several different variations on this but uh, they're all basically the same as far as how the spring goes on. As you can see, the throttle cable hooks in this one horizontal. Some are vertical. But once you find the uh, mechanism here on how it works, you'll uh, look for this little tab right here with the hole in it. That's where your governor spring is going to connect to. On the governor arm, this little hole right here is where your spring, the other end of the spring connects to. And this is the spring that came out of it. You can see it stretched just a little bit. I ain't too worried about it. I think it'll be all right. If I notice the uh, lower RPMs and I can't get it to throttle up anymore, then I'll put another spring in it. But I think this will be all right. And uh, usually, the only time you have to replace one of these if it's broke or extremely stretched. If it looks about like that, you should be all right. And the symptoms of an engine that needs a governor spring is you sit here and throttle it up and it won't do nothing or it does very little. If it does very little, it means it's stretched. If it does nothing at all, this is either broke or fell off. So uh, that's uh, really all I can do. It. Like I said, you shouldn't have to mess with the adjusting the governor when you're doing this. Okay, so the old spring was giving me problems. kept wanting to pop off, so we'll put a brand new one on it. I'm afraid that other one's going to break where it's been bent before. So go ahead and put the new one on now and be done with it. I'm not going to actually bend it, I'm just trying to get it to swing out so I can get it started. Just like that. That way it shouldn't pop out again. That's what happens sometimes when they get old, it'll pop out like that easy. Okay, you can kind of get a better idea of how it connects like that. And when you you get the bolts lined up right in there when you pull it back you should have spring tension on it now that governor arm see right now very little tension when you throttle up you get a lot more so now we go ahead and put the screws in there in previous videos i tried to show it from looking down inside there and you can't really you can just barely see it we'll take a look that way you got got a reference see it's super hard to see but you get the, the tab on the governor is right there the other tab is on the assembly that moves on the throttle bracket here okay so I got it bolted you notice I had to use a, my own screws here because for some reason two of them came up missing but anyway right now the throttle cable will be set for idle there's very little to no spring tension at all especially just gravity doing up and when you throttle up there should be a good amount of tension on this how you can tell if your spring's working now if you look inside here you should be able to actually see how the spring moves and puts tension on it i know it's kind of hard to see but about the best angle i can get the whole thing swings up there and that's how it puts tension on that arm right there Well guys, that's about it for the uh, governor spring, how to replace and install a governor spring on a small engine. This is going to be very similar in anything with a mechanical governor. So uh, if you got any questions, leave a comment below and I'm going to get back to finish rebuilding this motor. So we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.